I'm Valora Sample. Everyone calls me Val and I am the Executive Director for Residential Education and Campus Life. Overflow Housing at UTC probably started around 2007-8, somewhere in that name uh, time frame. Uh, and it really came from the university started, um, increased their enrollment numbers. And so as a result of increasing their enrollment numbers, that meant that students were gonna live on campus. And so um, that's where it kinda like got started. Of course, anytime you say overflow housing, especially when you're talking about it with parents, it's, it's kind of gives you some anxiety uh, because no one wants to come to campus and not get the real campus experience. Uh, so in, initially, I think that you know, there's anxiety that kind of like resonate with most of our students and their parents when they hear the word overflow housing. The students are not going to be in traditional housing on campus like uh, they envision their students to be. Um, but I think once the students get there, um, they have enjoyed being in certain situations in overflow. Uh, of course, it's not you know, what they envision, but they make do with what they have. So we try to keep it within like a, a mile or two within of campus, touching campus. And so we've, the same year we was at the Reed House, we were actually at the Chattanooga Hotel as well. So we were at two locations that particular year. We also, uh, for a couple of years, we were at the Choo Choo. Uh, and then I think one year we were at the Days Inn. I think that's the name of it, the one that's attached to City Cafe, we were at that one as well. COVID response is a totally different response then. And so they probably, their experience probably have seemed strange because they weren't on campus, but the students that were on campus probably felt the exact same way that the students that were at Palmetto uh, during the overflow, I mean, during the COVID season. We still had uh, staff available over at Palmetto. The strange thing that time was that we didn't have the whole building to ourselves. Uh, there were other people staying in the building. Um, so it wasn't just all UTC students. So that was a little different experience than what we've had uh, in the past. Um, and so, but we didn't have as many students staying over there either because if you, if you were on campus during uh, COVID time, then we didn't have that many students living on campus and so, we probably had a very small amount of students at Palmetto, and we used Palmetto uh, sometimes for isolation and quarantine as well. So it wasn't a lot of students over in Palmetto, which was a little different from our usual um, programmatic way of doing things uh, that particular year. We were just trying to figure it all out during COVID. So that one was a very different experience for all of our students, not just the ones that lived uh, in Palmetto. They paid the same amount of rate that they would primarily for like a South Campus uh, rate. We priced it at that particular price point. So we didn't give them an additional price um, just because they were at the hotel. But we wanted to make sure that whatever they, the cost was that it would be enough that if when they moved on campus that they would be at, they wouldn't have to pay anything additional. So usually this, um, before West was built, South Campus rates were a lot higher, not a lot. They were higher than the North Campus rates were. And so we wanted to make sure that the, the, um, the students, when they moved on campus, that they wouldn't have to pay anything additional. If anything, they were getting a refund because they probably was moving to somewhere like J.O. or to Bowling or to Lock Miller. And if they moved to South Campus, then they was paying the exact same thing. So it wasn't anything additional being charged to their uh, to their accounts. My name is Josh Price. I'm a junior, and uh, my first year in college was 2020. So pretty strange. Uh, I lived for whatever reason in Palmetto Place. It's about a block away from the Yellow Deli. So I had to myself. It was really nice to be alone, um, but it got old really fast. So what I did with the other bedroom was I kind of made it a joke. I just turned it into my ironing room. So like <laughs> everything was unused, but I just had like this ironing board with an iron in the very middle of it. And I just would, would, would go in there and iron my clothes. So, uh, yeah.